They accompany the heads of state on various official trips around the world and often resemble highly technological fortresses on wheels disguised as ordinary vehicles. We're talking about presidential vehicles. This is a business card of top politicians, with which they appear not only in their country but also abroad. And for some, it is also a source of pride for their own automobile industry, its successes, and achievements. Remember the incredibly sophisticated vehicles of James Bond. These are equally resistant to gunfire, explosions, and even chemical attacks. Their task is simple, to transport the president to the destination while providing the highest level of security. Today, we will tell you about the limousines used by the presidents of countries such as China, the United States, Turkey, and France, as well as share the characteristics of these fortresses on wheels. Let's get started. During the recent official visit of the Chairman of the People's Republic of China to Asian countries, many were interested in the vehicle used by the politician, the armored limousine Hongqi N701. We have gathered all the available details about this model for you. Hongqi N700 and one is a rather mysterious car, about which a minimum amount of information is known. It belongs to the premium sub-brand of FAW Hongqi. Essentially, this brand was initially created for manufacturing cars for the officials of the Chinese Communist Party. In the car fleet of the President of China, the N701 joined the L5, L7, and L9 models. The new limousine of the head of the Communist Party of China was officially unveiled in 2022 during a summit in Hong Kong. Later, the General Secretary of the CCP used it for the G20 summit in Indonesia. And now a couple of these cars formed the motorcade of the Chinese President in Russia. Previously, spy photos of the Hongqi N701 appeared on the internet during road tests and in parking lots, revealing the huge size of the vehicle. It's immediately noticeable that it's armored, especially evident in the thick windshield. Although the exact specifications of the N701 are not disclosed, Chinese sources reported that its length approaches 6 meters and its width exceeds 2 meters. As for the wheelbase, it measures 3.5 meters. Thanks to its four-seat layout, the N701's interior impresses with a reserve of space. In addition, the design of its central console was even compared to the Russian Oris Senat, even in China. The powertrain of the Hongqi N701 is another myth. Previously, various media sources reported that under the hood of the main party car, either a self-developed FAW V8 or V12 engine was hidden. Official information regarding this matter was not provided. However, recently, the reputable Chinese publication Sohu shared fresh information about the powertrain of the N701. It turns out that the long hood conceals not a V12 or even a V8, but a 3-liter V6 engine producing 283 horsepower. A similar engine also propels the more civilian Hongqi H9+. However, the N701 is additionally equipped with an electric motor. As a result, the combined output of the hybrid system reached 462 horsepower. It is now clear why this information was not disclosed, as the output of the same Oris Senat reaches 598 horsepower and the Rolls-Royce Phantom 571 horsepower. In this case, the Chairman of the People's Republic of China had nothing to boast about. Nevertheless, it is not ruled out that in the future the N701 will be equipped with a V12 engine. According to internal FAW documentation, exactly five Hongqi N701 cars are assembled each year. Furthermore, a government order has already been placed for 10 years. In other words, a total of 50 such cars will be produced. The current president of the United States, Joe Biden, uses the government limousine manufactured by Cadillac, which is considered one of the most secure and safe vehicles in the world. Biden moves around Washington in the famous Cadillac One limousine, also known as the Beast and Stagecoach. In reality, it resembles more of a comfortable tank than an ordinary car. The exterior of the vehicle resembles the Cadillac CT6 sedan with the front body style of the Escalade SUV, but it shares little in common with these models in terms of technology. Unofficial reports suggest that the Beast is built on a reinforced chassis of a heavy-duty pickup truck, with the fully equipped limousine's weight potentially reaching up to 10 tons. The passenger compartment is located inside an armored capsule, the construction of which uses titanium and composite materials. The thickness of the glass is about 10 centimeters, and the doors with armor with a thickness of at least 15 centimeters are comparable in weight to the doors of a civilian aircraft. The windows can withstand shots from powerful firearms, such as the 44 Magnum caliber, while the four armor plates on the bottom protect it from grenade explosions. Furthermore, the vehicle is equipped with Kevlar reinforced run flat tires. The presidential limousine is equipped with night vision devices, special cannons for deploying smoke screens and dispersing tear gas, a fire suppression system, and an 
autonomous oxygen supply to the sealed cabin to protect against chemical and biological weapons. The Beast also features a system that runs an electrical charge through the door handles in the event of an attack. Furthermore, the vehicle includes a refrigerated compartment where blood packets of the same blood type as the President are stored for emergency transfusions, along with a defibrillator and other medical equipment. According to unofficial reports, the government's Cadillac is equipped with a diesel engine rather than a gasoline engine. This is because an engine with higher torque at lower speeds is better suited for vehicles of similar weight and size. Additionally, diesel fuel is a less flammable fuel than gasoline. Special training courses are required to operate such a vehicle. The presidential motorcade comprises several dozen different vehicles. There is always another limousine alongside the Beast main car, which serves as a backup vehicle, as well as a clone car intended to confuse intruders in case of an attack. Moreover, the motorcade includes several armored SUVs with armed guards, a mobile command center, a communication vehicle, a medical team vehicle, as well as transportation for the press and support staff. According to unofficial data, this limousine is the most expensive car in the world, analogs of which simply do not exist. Unfortunately, the exact price of the U.S. president's limousine is classified, but it can be assumed that such a monster costs several tens of millions of dollars. It's not just a means of transportation. The presidential vehicle signifies prestige, promotes the national auto industry, and serves as a means to protect the life and health of the head of state. The French company Puget has been manufacturing cars for the President of France for more than half a century. Elected as President of France for the first time in 2017, Macron arrived at his inauguration ceremony in a Puget 5008 and continued to actively use this car thereafter. Perhaps it was the most frequently appearing car in the media of France, but that doesn't mean it's the most well-known. For security reasons, the specifications of the presidential vehicle are kept secret. However, it is known that this specific Puget 5008, like all 5008 models, is produced at the factory in Rennes, and then handed over to Centigan, a company from Brittany which specializes in equipping vehicles with protective equipment, in particular, armor. The second row has been modified. In the presidential limousine, there isn't a three-seat sofa but rather two separate seats. As reported by French media, the President of France has moved to a new version of his official vehicle, about which more information can now be found in the public domain. This is again the DS7 Crossback crossover, but this time with a 200mm longer wheelbase. The new presidential car was created on the basis of a hybrid version of the model. The car is equipped with a 1.6 petrol turbo engine and a separate electric motor on the rear axle, which produce a total of 300 horsepower. The crossover has an armored body, and the rear seats are equipped with individual electrically adjustable seats that come with heating and ventilation. A large central console is positioned between the seats, featuring controls for the seats and lighting, along with document holders, phone chargers, and USB ports. Among the external features, the traditional dark blue color associated with vehicles of the French president is present, as are 20-inch wheels, foldable flight poles on the front fenders, special signals behind the radiator grille, and numerous badges with the French tricolor and the letters RF. The president of Turkey moves around in a highly modified Mercedes S600. The vehicle of the main politician of Turkey, based on the S600 LWB, has an impressive arsenal of technologies. Despite the use of a titanium alloy in the body, the car's doors are reinforced with 13mm steel. Invulnerable to all heavy weapons, the car is both bulletproof and airtight, designed to withstand chemical attacks. The onboard phone operates directly through the Jerktork 1 satellite, enabling the Turkish president and his security personnel to contact anyone needed in case of danger. The sedan's tires are strengthened with steel cords and are damage-resistant. Even if the tire rubber is destroyed, the framework allows the S600 to keep moving. Only two functions and capabilities of this car are publicly known. The presidential S600 features ultra-bright headlights with extensive illumination range, along with a tear gas installation positioned next to the headlamps. All these and many other enhancements for the head of the state's vehicle came at a cost of approximately 1 million Turkish liras to the country. Write in the comments which of these limousines used by the presidents of the world's leading countries impressed you the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.